The development of the abdomen is modeled in this animation in which a lot of things happen at the same time. If we first focus on the foregut, you can see the development of the stomach, the duodenum and the associated liver and gallbladder. The foregut rotates clockwise from the embryo point of view, thereby displacing the liver to the right hand side of the body. Mind that the spleen is not physically connected with the gut, apart from its blood vessels. In the meantime, the midgut, which is still connected with the yolk sac, dramatically elongates and loops in and out of the umbilical cord. This is a temporal solution for a shortage of abdominal space. Subsequently, the midgut rotates 270 degrees in a clockwise fashion along the axis of its supplying blood vessel, the superior mesenteric artery. This results in compaction of the midgut and retraction into the abdominal space. Mind the appendix, which marks the transition from the future ileum to the cecal part of the colon. Rotation also results in the typical colon configuration, which almost looks like an inverted U or even a W when in some people the transverse colon bulges out downwards. What we missed while focusing on the fore and midgut are the changes in the hindgut. While this part develops into the descending colon, the sigmoid colon and rectum, a structure grows from the distal part of the hindgut towards the umbilical cord. This is called the adentoas, which will give rise to the urinary bladder and the urethra. After you've just seen the animation of the rotation of the pure intestines, to give you an impression, you now see the rotation with the peritoneum added. You see the mesenteries being rotated together with the intestines and the bulging of the greater omentum.